computer that is completely burned up and I'm gonna show you how I fix it. First thing we're gonna do is cut off one end of the winding. We're gonna put it in an oven and we're gonna burn this thing around 650 degrees for about six hours. Normally I start work at 7 a.m. but I'm opening this oven at 540 because they need this thing back ASAP. You can see the copper at this point is pretty soft. I can start pulling it out of the slots, count the wires, identify the connection. After we get all those wires out, we gotta clean this stator up so we can prep it so I can start putting all the wire back into this thing. So we throw it in the sandblaster, we hit it for a little bit, we'll clean it all up. Now I have to insulate all 36 slots of this thing so we can start putting our coils in. This is a Nomex Mylar Nomex DuPont insulation slot paper. I cut all this paper by hand. I actually have to crease these because they are flat bottom slots inside this stator. Usually you'll see a round bottom, but we do have to crease them for the flat bottom because we need all the available space we can get to put this wire in those slots. So what we're looking at here is one group of coils. There is going to be six groups of coils, three coils per group. That's gonna occupy our 36 slots. In this frame, you see that we have three total groups inserted and I'm starting on the fourth group. What I'm pointing out here is that we want to insulate these groups from each other. We don't want them touching physically, so we'll use uh, different types of phase paper, phase tape, anything we can use that will insulate the groups of coils from each other. Same thing on the connection side. I can tell you that this is not a cheap and easy fix, but these people are losing major money every hour that this motor is not in their plant operating their machine. The next thing I'm going to show you is how I make these coils. This is a concentric step head. I tied them off individually. We're not tying the crossings in there, but you can see that crossing is what connects the coils inside that group. So now we have all of our coils inserted. We're going to tie the opposite connection end first. I'll show you the connection end. This is actually coming out as a six lead um, Y delta. This is a four pole. Even though we only have six groups in there, we actually have four rotating magnetic poles inside. So this is not hooked up Y or delta internally. We can make that connection externally. Last but not least, one thing you guys seem to like to see is a banana comparison. So there's the motor on the top that I wound compared to a banana, and on the bottom we have a large form wound square frame. Here we're looking at a DC motor. We got our field poles and our inner poles. I've spoke on this before. Again, banana for scale. I appreciate the follows, guys. Comments, likes, message. Cheers.